it's just two months until the Iowa caucuses, and do you know who your candidate is? Democrats are still all over the place, and some are showing voters a more personal side. Mayor Pete claims that being gay helps him relate to African-American struggles. Senator Elizabeth <laughs> Warren got choked up talking to a young girl during a Q&A. And Joe Biden had some fun with his wife, Jill, during a campaign stop. Watch. And when they cut to the President of the United States... <laughs> Nibble, nibble, nibble. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. People are so angry yeah. about that clip. They I are. I thought it was silly, and like they clearly still love each other and are playful. Yeah. yeah. That's because well, everyone sort of. When you show it like that, when you show it like that, creepy, but and it looks like it happened for a Megan. long time. Yeah, and it was, you was you know, they, I think it's adorable. It I think it's kind of, of a reflex. Like if you put your finger in someone's face, they kind of, uh -huh. kind of go for it. So I think it was a reflex. It was sweet. That's what I did with uh, Bernie Sanders when I did Bill years ago with him and he kept going like this with his hands and I couldn't see anything or well, I did not nibble I just you gotta do something in that because everyone sees it and it's, un it's uncomfortable right. so I thought yeah. in that moment it was they look like they're very happy yeah and frankly I think, I think he needs to do more of that because they, that's his soft side that is them, sweet yeah. they seem to like each other those two. they do I mean Milani looks like she's at a funeral half the time <laughs> <laughs> Not for nothing. <laughs> so, do you think empathy will work on the campaign trail? Because that's what they're trying now, you know, it seems. Or, do you know, when the, the opposite really has been true of, of Trump, obviously. He, you know, locks up children, uh, he cuts food stamps, yeah. he does things that are the opposite of empathy and caring about other people. He did go to Afghanistan, though, over the holidays. Yay. To see the troops. That was lovely. Well, I mean, every president does that. That's huh. no big deal. I feel like sometimes uh, the cruelty is baked into the cake. I feel mm -hmm. like when you watch any of his rallies, anyone that's endured one, um, the people behind him really enjoy how mean he is. And when he cusses, they cheer. Um, well, uh, not all the people, well, but the people, people behind him. People at the rallies. Yeah, at the rallies. Julian um, rally, yeah. Castro was on Joy and Reed's show this, this weekend, and mm -hmm. he talked about cruelty being what the goal is. And I think that we as a nation, we're coarser now. We've gotten to the point now where hatefulness is celebrated. Like, yeah. ooh, I, I did something horrible and someone blocked me. Yay. Why are you happy that you're so distasteful that no one ever wants to see you again? Yeah. Like, there's something about that that breaks my heart about what we've become mm. in Absolutely. three years of everything being just going down. Well, and it's not just Republicans. It's not just Trump people. Everyone is now like, well, I think Biden spoke to it when he first uh, announced his uh, candidacy. He said, we're fighting for the soul of America. That's true, and I really believe that. And so this discussion somehow that Democrats, you know, do we want a lover or a fighter? I think we just want someone that will elevate the discourse, yes. that'll elevate what's going on in this country. I mean, think about, Joy, you just said what this administration is doing about food stamps. Mm -hmm. Cutting the food stamp cool. budget by 4.2 billion dollars. 4.2 billion dollars. And then people are saying, well, you know, the minority communities are affected. Well, 40% of the recipients are white people. And so people that are a lot in a large part, um, some Trump supporters, you're talking about 400,000 people in Texas losing their, their, uh, uh, money. A million school children will lose access to school A million school lunch. children. How about 328,000 in Florida? How about one in five Wisconsin households currently getting help from their groceries will lose that benefit? Iowans will lose uh, the benefit. Why aren't people can talking I, about I that? Can question? Why is it wrong to take care of people? Why is it wrong to feed people I think it's how or you, house I think it's people how you do if they it. need it? I think it's how you do it and how effective <laughs> the government is at doing that. And I think that's where you have the divide and where uh, well, Republicans in my family would well, say is... 1.2 billion people uh, need that assistance. I think if you're talking about the politics of the moment, yeah. if you need a fighter or someone to empathize with, I actually take umbrage at the idea you can't be both. I think President Obama was an empathizer and mm -hmm. a fighter. I think mm -hmm. great leaders across the board can be both. And I think the media does a disservice to the American public thinking mm -hmm. that you have to have one or the other. Yeah. Um, I also want to show this morning consult trend tracker, which shows... Come on, you guys, I, I prepped it. Okay, great. There, it is. Um, <laughs> there is... So if you see Joe Biden in here is... Excuse me. Can I speak? Statistically, staying at 30% above the pack, no matter what happens. That's you see true. all the other candidates ebbing up and ebbing down. And right now, there's a trend line down. I sound like so serious right now, and I'm in class. Sorry. <laughs> but now you see Elizabeth <coughs> Warren going down. I think it's interesting that despite mm. all our conversation over the past year plus, the conversations that will continue, Joe Biden's still holding steady in the middle of the country. Mm -hmm. No matter what, no matter how many you know gaffes he has, whatever. And I think it'll be interesting to see which candidate can possibly go up and hit that green. Yeah. You know, I talked mm -hmm. to my in-laws as we all do over over the break. Mm -hmm. People that don't live in New York City, they're in Florida. 
And um, they talk to their. They're Republicans. Do mm -hmm. they talk to their? <laughs> then what did you say? No, I talk. They're my in-laws. Oh, yeah. And I, I just ask them about what they think what's going on, and um, if they would vote for someone that was, because they're Republicans. Mm -hmm. And they said, as of right now, to Megan's point, Biden would be the only one that we would think to vote for. And then I said, have you watched any of the debates? They said, we haven't watched any. I think that we, sometimes there's a disconnect. And you remember there was that moment, and we were talking about this this morning, one of the first debates when um, Kamala went after Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, after the commentary was like, that was her moment. This was it for her. She, well, this is, a, this is gonna, a new thing. And yeah. it's funny because that's the way the media was talking about it. And yet people at home saw it very differently. So there's still well, a disconnect people, between the way the media talks about the race right now yeah. and the way that they're describing people and the way that people at home are feeling about the issue. Yeah, I think the well, Democrats just, just want anybody who can defeat Trump. I think and I think anybody I think. can if we all vote for that person. Yeah, and whoever That's it is will rally behind that person.